Hello, my name's Aaron O'Donnell. In this video, I'm just going to go over a cowboy guitar tune which I've created and I thought I'd just quickly dissect it just to show you how basic anything, well, how basic a track can be. So here we are. You can see what I've used here is just the Logic Drummer for the drums. Quite simple. Um, got a snare here as well. So let's just play, let's just actually play some of the track before we go dive in too deep. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so you get the gist. So we've got the drums up here. So we've got the, let's um, solo some of these out. Uh, all the drummy stuff. So I've separated the kick and the snare. These are just logic, straight out of logic. Not, not a hell of a lot actually added to it. So here, let's go look at the snare. See down the side. It's a bit of compression, a bit of a, an isotope uh, plug in here just to give it a bit of added um, EQ. I think you can see the channel EQ's got nothing on it, so I've used I think the isotope for a bit of EQ on there. Only a small bit, probably the high end. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, a lot of high end here, taking off the lows. Okay, standard stuff there for the snares but yeah there's the same thing with the kit all round just basic a little bit of Justin here the Valhalla supermassive a little bit of reverb which I like to use okay so let's bring it back here and have another listen to the start so how does this start we have got right down the bottom here an atmosphere, just a just a plug-in with an atmosphere, and here these this is just an actual Logic Pro loop, which I've added in and just cut up the start. So let's just solo that out with the Valhalla, and that brings us into the start of the track. Here, it's just a atmosphere sample. And again here, that on its own is pretty cool. Here's me whistling. And on that whistle, I had to take a few takes on that whistle. And um, I used Melodyne to actually get the pitch right because I couldn't get it sounded to me perfectly, but when I listened to it back, it was off every time. So I put it in Melodyne, and, and then, well, you can see the Melodyne there, and compressor and some Valhalla on the whistle on its own. Let's just, let's just have a quick listen to the whistle. Classic cowboy. And what you can do is actually just bounce that off so you don't have to worry about I think, I think, uh, I can't see it here. On my edits, I did actually bounce it down so I could chop off the uh, the tail of the soup of the Halvala. Right, I don't want to go too much into this track. Just to show you like little bit, bits and pieces that I like to add, just to just to get something sounding pretty cool. What's this? Oh, again, that's got a lot of reverb on the end of it, but it's just. A sample from a sample pack which I purchased uh, a long while ago and it's just something that I thought fitted nicely oh, so cool so let's just listen without even the guitars or anything to just some of these samples and sounds what's this up here I think I just put my guitar <laughs> I 
I think even that on its own is pretty cool. But what what is this track? Where did it come from? So actually, the idea came from uh, Johnny Cash. I thought, I want to do something very Johnny Cashy, And then it sort of developed into more of a cowboy sort of style Johnny Cash. So I think, are these the guitars? The original guitars? Here we go. So if you just think of Johnny Cash. This is me just plucking away a clean string. I've got my archetype nolly on clean, a bit of reverb. Trying to get some of these sort of mids up. And the compressor, what have we got on the compressor? Heavy guitar. A bit too much, perhaps you might think. It's just a preset. we got here we've got these cue stick as well let's bring in the cue stick doing pretty much the same as the electric the part the muted electric this is recorded on my microphone with a little bit of processing it's so an EQ and a and a compressor and I've just saved my cue stick it's my cue stick Acoustic back in left is what I've called that there. And acoustic bright guitar. Again, just a preset there for the out um for the acoustic guitar, a preset. And then this one here. Oh, just acoustic guitar. So one side is acoustic guitar, the other side is acoustic guitar bright, just to make them sound slightly different. Of course they're both panned, one pan left, one pan right. I haven't gone the full way to blend in a bit more. Okay, what else do we have? The main guitar. So what I've actually done on the lead guitars is instead of doing just one, usually I'll just lead right down the middle or slightly to the side. I've actually decided to double it up, double up the lead on this. So the, all that's on here is again my archetype nolly, a nice clean sound, low bass, mids, very high treble, obviously we need that for these kind of like twangy sounding guitars don't we? Uh, and that's pretty much it on here, where, where else have I gone, the nolly side of things, no, no touch in the EQ, um, and a little bit of reverb, cool. And then the pedal, as you can imagine, just trem. Fiddle around the trem, but it's a logic pedal. And it sounds pretty cowboy to me. Nice octave above. Sometimes you can do a, a harmonized guitar to your leads. But sometimes just an octave above is all that's needed just to give that added something that's not too much. Harmonizing is always just sounds amazing, but sometimes it's it's almost like the I don't know, like the, the younger brother coming along and upstaging the older brother or something. It's, oh, you know, that's that's a little bit too much. Sounds good, but a little bit taking it too far away. Whereas an octave is just quite subtle but adds extra. Almost, you almost don't even notice it, but it happens without um, causing too much upset to your track. And then another slightly more kind of muffly sound guitar. Now these were just 
This is the original sound, I thought. That was the original sound that I used for these guitars at the start. And I thought, mm, that's not quite... It's, this is sounding quite cowboy-y. So I changed the sound of the start to sound those more, more like cowboy -y guitars. And I kept it for the middle part, just to break it up a bit. It's it to another dimension. Oh. The whistle and the, what is that thing called? And then here, just your standard um, studio. What am I using here? Let's, let's go in and take a look. What is it? Your tambourine. Just your standard tambourine here. I probably played a little bit with the, uh, the, the EQ just to boost it a bit. Look at this. That's all you need to get those kind of, what are they called? The spoke, spokes, spot spokes. When a cow, anyway, the cowboy boots, that's what it sounds like, doesn't it? To me it does anyway. Then it comes back into the start. Shake it going on there. That's it. That's pretty much a roundup of most of the bits and pieces that you can see going on in this track. I don't know what this is here. I don't know if I can quickly have a quick look at this. What is this? Let's solo that out. Oh, of course. Yeah. I don't know why that's called kick. That's confusing. But it's not a kick, is it? It's one of my, my own samples I made myself. I, it's my standard go-to sample. I don't know why it's called kick. If I bring that out. You can see it's uh, just a swell. But sometimes it's nice to cut it off. Anyway, there we go. I think that shows in a nutshell how I put together this nice little track. And I think it sounds quite cowboy-y. And it's actually one of my, one of my, my favorites. I really enjoyed doing it. It's something different. It's a different track. It's something different to my, my usual rock. So yeah, it's a bit of fun. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found that useful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and come back again, tell your friends, all the rest of it. Anyway, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. You got this.